Hello, dear professor and students. My name is Alejandro Nesto, and today I will be discussing about my midterm presentation about victim offender mediation. So the facts to review in this presentation is definition, creation, process, evaluation, pros and cons, government actions, opinions, result, statistics, and conclusion. So the purpose of my presentation is for you, the audience, to know the basics of what it is victim offender mediation, uh, its process, and also the advantages and disadvantages that we get from it. So for the definition, victim offender mediation refers basically to the process that provides the victim the opportunity to meet with the offenders in a safe and legal environment. So for the creation, basically the creation was first conducted, it was first conducted in Canada in 1974. So it was mainly uh, two young adults that um, they were in the community, in a certain community, and they uh, committed vandalism. So they were arrested. And uh, when they were arrested, they, will be, they were held in jail, of course. And since they were minors, they have the opportunity to uh, to make amend with the with with that community, so they will they they had the chance to meet with the community and hear from them how the community was affected by by those um, damages that they caused. So um, by hearing the community and and experience uh, what they felt they had the chance to apologize publicly to them. And then as, uh, as the right punishment, they will be, they, they did uh, like a, retrib a financial retribution to the community. And then they will be, um, they were also um, doing uh, community work to repair the damages. They will, they will help financially and also they will manually, they both manually be uh, preparing those damages uh, they, they, they cause like, um, like uh, usually the vandalism is on the street painting, they will clean it up, they will fix any, um, any uh, uh, branches of the, the, the houses, they will help with the, um, um we basically the the collection of trash and everything like that is uh it was basically they were doing community work and they will uh and they were doing their financial uh, retribution and um with that uh, uh processes that uh, was um first um introduced in canada then there was the 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 ex, um, expansion that I brought to the United States in 1978, with the creation of almost uh, uh, 300 com um, 300 community programs that would support uh, both victims uh, for the offenders rehabilitation and all of that. So. The process that is conducted in the victim of the mediation. First, uh, there's gonna be placed like a legal setting. There will be conducted a meeting in a, in a prepared and structured environment, mostly away from the public, where there will be the one, the victim, the offender and the mediator. And I put here that the process could be recorded. Although it's away from the public and there's nobody else uh, than the mediator, the victim of 
uh, the victim and the offender. This process, it could be recorded to use it later from, um, to use it later to court. So the courts can um, uh, see the video, see how the victim and the um, offender interacts and how they, how the mediator uh, gets uh, all the detailed information that, um, that he or she has to get. So the next process uh, is that the mediator, it will be responsible to maintain, um, to maintain this meeting as most professional as possible. The, uh, the media has the responsibility to prevent uh, any physical harm, any uh, shouting or any uh, verbal, um, any uh, verbal aggression. So for the third process, it will be that the victim will start, um, of course, will start asking questions uh, to, the offender about why why he or she did it, what were the, the motives, and it um, it was worth it to them to he um, to them to commit that offense. And later, uh, the victim will would uh, express the how that offense. Um, how that offense affected uh, the the way of that of that victim's life. So then the the other process will be um, the turn of the offender to speak. The offender will listen to the victim, and then it will have the turn to speak to um, to uh, approach the victim and say. I, I, I did this because of this and um, I, I, uh, what I felt in that occasion and then what I feel now. So basically like that, the, the offender will have the, the, the freedom to, to say, uh, to say the, 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 um, the modus and what were the consequences Either if he or she was being um, coerced by someone else, that they have to commit that offense because if not, someone else will kill you. Or maybe, um, yeah, maybe it was like uh, something that was uh, affecting that offender. And through this meeting, they. Uh, the offender has the ability to share that with uh, both the mediator and the victim. So the final process will be the mediator. The mediator will um, take each statement, both the, uh, the victim statement and the offender statement into account. Uh, the mediator will um, will uh, provide a report to the court about how the meeting went. Um, they, um, uh, the mediator will, uh, will emerge with a um, common decision. It will be like the mediator, it will analyze the situation from both the victim and the offender and the goal is to come with the conclusion that can, uh, that can both uh, be right to the offender, that it won't be uh, unfair to the offender. Like if the offender would uh, have um, a certain amount of years for sentence, um, but in, but in this case, it will have to be fair for the offender and the victim will have the alleviation that this, that this uh, uh, offensive, that this crime will, will not be, uh, will not be, 
will not go will, will not go in uh without justice you know so the victim and the offender will will have to will have to be uh satisfied no satisfied if no will have to be like fair they will have to both agree with the sentence and with the implications that um and how with the implications that the mediator uh, agreed to to put on on the as the final report for the courts to decide so the evaluation so as i said before the proper evaluation for this is that the mediator will evaluate mostly how the offender is uh, reacting in the situation how she or she uh, how he or she explains how the that the offense was committed and what basics um the he or she had to do it if he was forced by someone else and whether the position that the offender will manifest, whether he please uh, to be responsible or not. Also, the believe it or not, through the recording section, the um, this type of programs that support this process will also evaluate how the mediator is able to maintain the the meeting in a in a respectful and organized environment, and whether, whether, whether if the mediator is able to come up with a with a solution for both victim and offender, they will see if the mediator will need more uh, follow up and training or or maybe evaluate more in deep a uh, certain uh, case. And then uh, from that, they could uh, receive feedback for further cases to uh, implement uh, uh, effectiveness for this type of programs. So next we have the pros. So the pros for victim offender mediation that I uh, add in this is basically that the victim has the, the uh, opportunity to express freely uh, the condition and he and what he or she is in and and they will be uh, they will have the opportunity also to to get more to get more close to the offender to look at the offender's eyes to see if maybe the offender really feels uh, uh really feels um guilty he feels ashamed of what he or she, or what he or she did so that's why the victim has the opportunity to 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 see the reflection the the offender's reflection uh, some people say that you could uh, tell what a person is feeling through through his or her eyes. So that's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, 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 what it what it has is uh, what the benefit that this have is that um, you cannot you can do this in a, in in this meeting uh, environment uh well while you cannot do it while being in, in in court you in court you are you cannot do this well you can but maybe you don't have uh, an opportunity to do it. in most cases you you won't have the opportunity to to meet and express freely with the offender uh, i do i no so another pro that this uh, process has is that what I explained in the creation for the young offenders, 
this process has the opportunity to, um, it gives them the opportunity to uh, not, being, uh, not being that long in jail. Instead, they could help in the, um, in the process of helping the community that they themselves damage. And they can uh, join rehabilitation programs so they can learn to, to learn from these mistakes and never do it again. And also uh, what I put here is for the, it helps for the offenders, for the offenders reintegration into society. So they can um, teach uh, more young people or probably young people that they don't know, but they will later, could, that they could later um, go to that stage where they be influenced from someone else to do a certain offense. So to avoid that, um, they could organize like little meetings where uh, the young community can uh, meet with a real ex-offender and uh, learn about the consequences that, that the offender went through. So the cons for this uh, process of victim offender mediator, mediation, sorry, is that it's only conducted for minor crimes. This process of victim offender mediation is only conducted for uh, uh, little offenses like um, uh, vandalism or um, it could be vandalism or it could be maybe the the um, like uh, um, it could be a strip uh, painting like um, uh, selling uh, illegal substances or some minor offenses like that. Like, so uh, uh, another con, it will be that the, the, uh, the mediator can sometimes or maybe not uh, handle well the situation between the victim and the offender because you know that the mediator is responsible to maintain a disciplined and well-organized uh, environment sharing. So the victim and the offender can, uh, can express what uh, both of them has to share. So maybe the, the mediator that is doing this process cannot, uh, cannot up upfront well the situation and it could uh, get into um, into a conflict between both uh, offender and victim, and it could be then uh, it could the media could get out of control basically. So that's one of the cons that the meeting school go well, but it could not. So. So the government actions, basically what the government uh, does uh, in this process is uh, helping the community, support the communities that has been damaged by uh, these offenders. And they will um, support rehabilitation programs for the offenders and creating more services like uh, this one that I refer here the Federal Mediation and Conciliation Service that will basically um, impart a system from different agencies and to help them cooperate uh, in order to um, develop effectiveness in both, uh, uh, in both public, private, uh, and, and public private agencies and uh, the programs that uh, we um, have now. So the opinions, the basic opinions in this is that they, uh, 
the community uh, is advocated to continue to use uh, this type of programs, this type of uh, rehabilitation programs and uh, getting to getting the offender to help the community by um, doing um, uh, amends by uh, helping financially by uh, helping the young community to to realize that com that committing offense that can that can violate the, the law is um, it could uh, uh, damage their lives it could ruin their lives and instead and showing them instead what they could do to to improve maybe their education um, while serving community and stuff like that. So the, the main results is that since uh, 1998, more, uh, more estimation of uh, more than uh, 300 programs are being developed uh, each year. And with them, uh, they they um, came run well through society and help the communities in need to be protected from these offenses. Next, we have the statistics that I uh, I uh, add some statistics about the type of agencies sponsoring victim offender mediation programs and the primary sources of funding for victim offender mediation programs. And the basic conclusion is that um, this uh, program mainly it will help more the community to uh, to probably uh, avoid this this kind of offenses. So they come. So the the. It, it doesn't have to be just that the young people, all, all people from the community can learn from these uh, offenders to, uh, instead of damaging our community, our society, instead of violating the laws, we can do, we can do something better. We can, um, we can um, support programs that help to, maybe improve education in, in poor communities to stand for uh, legal rights of um, of uh, maybe the the black community to respect uh, uh, the, the black community and uh, keep the the diversity of, of culture to still uh, be maintained and share with uh, share uh, our share our, our culture in in every corner of of our community. So, and also uh, enforce the rightful punishment or charge for the offender, um, while the community because the community has the right to uh, decide how, they go, how they're going to punish the offender, whether it is to give them a, a chance to cooperate and fix the damages that they've done, or whether to serve uh, uh, their punishment in, in jail uh, while doing uh, like the, the certain amount of uh, of time that uh, that both the core and the community agrees upon. So here you have the reference in case you want to know more information about this process. And here I add some images that represents the the parties, whether well, it's um, whether it is the, uh, the, the offender and the victim and the mediator, uh, whether it's like um, a community meeting 
where they discuss the how the the young population is affected and how is connected all the uh, all the people in the community, how they can help other communities and avoid this type of uh, offenses, help the, the young people to, to do something more than harm the community. And um, that's it for my presentation and hope you like it and um, learn from it. And I hope you have a good day. Thank you.